I'm Allison Singer with the Autism Science Foundation, and I'm here today with Dr. Connie Cassery of the Center for Autism Research and Treatment at UCLA. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. So you had a new study that you presented at IMFAR that looked at the role of peer modeling uh, in helping children with autism. Can you tell us a little bit about your study? Sure. Um, so we saw children who were in general education classrooms, um, children with autism, and they were in second to fifth graders. Um, typically, uh, people do peer modeling with preschool children, um, and there have been a lot of studies showing that that's very effective, but we weren't quite sure that it was going to be effective with school-aged children. So we um, compared what was typically done in the grade um, elementary school years, which is to have a one-on-one -on -one aide help a child socially, or to do a social skills um, class after school. And so we decided we would do something in school, and we'd use peer modeling as one model in the school and compare it to just what happened typically. So instead of a one-to-one -one adult aid, these mm -hmm. children had a peer aid. They did. We, we taught um, typically three peers in the classroom how to be a good friend to any child on the playground who didn't have somebody to play with or who was isolated um, or just needed to um, play a game with other kids. And what were the results of your study? Well, surprisingly, we found the peer modeling really did work in elementary school. Um, and that that was the most effective model. So any time that we involved uh, typical peers with the child with autism, um, we uh, found out that more children, more children in the classroom nominated that child or selected that child as a friend. Um, they also played with them on the playground more often, um, connected the child. Um, and the, the other model where we just have an adult work with a child wasn't as effective. And have you looked at the long-term benefits of peer modeling? Well, long-term. We, um, this study was actually just 12 sessions in six weeks. So it's really just showing you that you can make a difference in a very short period of time. Um, and then we went away. And we came back in three months. And we did some of those same measures again. And lo and behold, the children still nominated our child with autism. They still connected to that child with autism, but only if they were in the peer modeling group, not in the other group. Now, how amenable were the peers and their parents and the school districts to participating in this type of approach? They were very welcoming. Um, and the typical peers were absolutely awesome. They loved it. Um, they were more, um, they were very willing to help. Um, they seemed to really get a lot out of uh, the experience. I think partially we don't actually interact with the typical peers around this issue. And so just involving them made a, a big difference. And what about the school district? The school district was welcoming. Um, I think as a first step they were um, just worried that they would, it would take too much of their own time. So in this first study, we didn't involve the school staff very much except to report to us whether or not they noticed a difference. So we had university um, graduate students actually do the work. But I think in the next iteration of this um, project that we would try to teach the paraprofessional aides in the school and the teachers how to engage the peers and the children with autism. So is that the next step? What are the plans for you and that the members of your team? That is the next step. That is what we're trying to do now. We're actually trying to go into um, lower income, underrepresented schools, so schools that don't have a lot of services. And we are trying to involve the peers and the classroom um, aides. I want to thank you for being with us today. This is such an exciting piece of research. I know so many parents are going to be so enthusiastic about this. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.